Ah, oh, yesterday was the final match of the 2018 FIFA World Cup, and it was très bien. And the champagne is flowing in France. The French squad overpowering underdog Croatia 4-2 to earn their second World Cup championship. French President Emmanuel Macron was jubilant in the stands, to say the least. Tens of thousands of soccer fans partied well into the night along the Champs-Élysées. Yes! Yes, I'm so excited. Africa won the World Cup. 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 I mean, look, I get it, I get it. They have to say it's the French team, but look at those guys, huh? <laughs> look at those guys. You don't get that tan by hanging out in the south of France, my friends. <laughs> Basically, if you don't understand, France is Africans' backup team, right? Once Senegal and Nigeria got knocked out, that's who we root for, you know? It's like, it's like when Paul Simon wins a Grammy, we're like, yes, we'll take that too. Thank you very much. <laughs> In other news, it seems like pizza magnate's Papa John has been eating a little too much crazy bread. Tonight, Papa John yeah, is pizza. gone. John Schnatter stepping down as chairman of the company he started three decades ago. The controversy stemming from racial slurs he used during a conference call two months ago. Schnatter acknowledging trying to justify previous negative comments he made about NFL players taking a knee, saying Colonel Sanders called blacks the N-word, and complaining that the KFC founder never faced public backlash. Ironically, the call's intent was to prevent future PR disasters. You know, I always knew Papa John would one day have to apologize in public. I just thought it would be for his pizza. <laughs> Also, I love how his PR damage control strategy was to try and throw Colonel Sanders under the bus. <laughs> which is not gonna work, because we already know Colonel Sanders said the N-word. Just look at him, look at him! <laughs> that guy looks like he was in the room when they came up with that word. <laughs> but that just goes to show you how good the man's chicken was. Black people were like, I think he owns slaves, but goddamn if he didn't nail those 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> All right, let's move on to today's top story. If your name, if your name is Vladimir Putin, then today was a very good day. Because today, the President of the United States took your side in a fight between you and the United States. Breaking news, siding with Putin. President Trump comes out of his meeting with the Russian president and rebukes U.S. intelligence agencies. The president is standing with the Russian president while trashing his own country. The president of the United States will not say he believes his own government over President Putin. I think that press conference was the single most embarrassing performance by an American president on the world stage that I've ever seen. Damn the most embarrassing performance by an American president. Do you know how hard it is to achieve that? George H.W. Bush once threw up on the Japanese prime minister. <laughs> and Trump is now on top. <laughs> and, and just so we're on the same page here, we're on the same page, right? Uh, when they set up this meeting last month, no one knew what it was meant to be about, right? They never knew what the meeting was for. They, they didn't know if it was gonna be about nuclear weapons, was it gonna be about the war in Syria, missile defenses in Europe? Uh, I mean, maybe it was just gonna be Trump going in to see Putin for his annual performance review. No one knew what it was. <laughs> the meeting had no agenda, right? But then on Friday, Robert Mueller dropped a bombshell directly charging 12 Russian military intelligence officers with hacking Democrats during the presidential campaign in an effort to sway the election, which was major news. Like, the news was so big that it sent Cardi B into labor. <laughs> She's like, Robert Mueller dropping indictments, this baby coming out now, Accrrr! 